so we're gonna do some toenail nippers. This is your cover for it to keep them sharp and you always wanna lay them with blade up. Don't ever lay them down blade down because it doles out your blade. So what we're gonna do is take little, we'll start with the pinky toe, little bites. So you don't wanna, just like little bites like that. So you're not tweaking the shape. You don't want it to go much shorter and you want it as straight across as possible and to get these hooks. You don't want it to go much shorter than their skin length because you can get into where you can get it too short and create that ingrown situation. But like in this situation, that channel has calloused. So we're gonna make sure we bring it down. And get underneath this hook. Here it has like a nice little hook. So we're gonna Make sure we're up and under it, not with any like tissue. Sometimes I guide it with my other finger. Okay. So big toe. Take little bites across the way. Out of it. You might want it a little shorter and you want to do it straight across. Um, and on those ends, if they want to bring it in, it's not a great idea to cut it away. But if that's why we have the rasp, but there's a hook there to pull it from digging down into the skin. So I'm going to set those down because I'll use them on the other foot. Blade up. And take a look. When it comes to hand files, I like to use diamond, medium diamond, and make sure the edge isn't sharp. And I like to kind of just add a little bit of a 45, clean up that shape. Not putting pressure against the skin, but up towards the nail. We're pulling any length down. Like that one we could trim a little more. There we go. where it gets tricky to file so don't be afraid to get in there and maneuver the angles of their toesies and this one I'm already happy that we it, like reduced so much of that dead skin on there and could be much more comfortable and it's already thickening a little just from pressure, constant pressure on it. So that looks good. We've done all the dry care we want to do and then we want to give it a minute with a callus softener to, or a cuticle softener, sorry, to kind of soak in and work there. And we can actually buff the surface and make it look real nice, but. No need for any excessive like lifting of the cuticle fold or anything. This is a natural nail dry pity we're working on, so we're not putting gel on or anything. So 